In this section, I'm going to look at HTML titles and descriptions. At the moment, we've got a number of pages. We've got the home page, uh, the about us page, services, FAQs, sitemap, gallery, blog, and contact us. Now, it's very important that each page has what's called an HTML title and an HTML description. Uh, if you're interested in SEO, then the title is the single most important SEO factor there is, bar none. So it's very important you get that right. If I go to the back end, what I can do is go to Plugins, Add New. And to help you with this, there's a plugin called Yoast. So if I search for Yoast, there you are, you've got Yoast uh, SEO. Over 5 million active installations, fantastic reviews, everything's good about this. And uh, it does help you with your SEO. And particularly in this case, it'll help you do your uh, titles and descriptions. So I'll go and install now, and then we'll click on activate. Now if I go and look at my pages, we'll start with the home page here. There we are, we've got the normal information. If we come down here, we've got this extra area courtesy of that plugin, which is Yoast SEO. Now, if you're interested in SEO, as I say, I do a separate SEO course, but it's very, very important to realize there's about 200 factors that go into the SEO mix, you know, deciding who comes first, who comes last in the search results. And the single most important factor bar none is the title. So what you need to do is to, in this case, go and click on where it says Edit Snippet. And down here, I can put a title in. So let's say uh, this page was all about, say, SEO training. I could type in something like SEO training in Perth, something like that. Ideally, the title should be longer, but you can see this little bar here. So I'll do SEO training in Perth dash So I'll do something like that. We could have a bit longer if we want. So that's my title. And down here, I need a description. The description can be longer than the title. So I can type in something like, um, So I could do something like that. So the title says uh, SEO training in Perth, dash by David Murray based in Western Australia. And the description says something like uh, SEO training courses by David Murray. Again, watch for typos. Delivering quality SEO training since 1996. Um, I founded my SEO training company two years before Google was even founded, which is true. I started my SEO company in 1996. Google was founded in 1998. It's very important the title is is you know relating to the content of the page, uh, and it's very very important for your SEO. The description doesn't actually affect your SEO, but it does affect the click-through rate. And the idea is that if you have a really good title that's relevant to the page contents and a really good description, then Google will use the uh, title you actually specify here. If, you're, if you don't specify a title at all, or if it's a bad title, then Google will just make one up on the fly. But by doing this and saving your changes here, ideally this is what's going to show up in the search results. So if I actually go to Google, in my case if I do something like uh, a search for SEO training, as you can see I come up first here, and that's the title taken directly from my page, and that's the description. Similarly for this other page, that's the title and that's the description. So it's very important that you use something like SEO Yoast to go and specify an exact title and description 
that closely relates to the contents of the page. You should do this on every single page of your website and also you should make sure you don't have duplicate titles. You know, every title should be unique, every description should be unique. Uh, why are you doing this? Basically because Google says to do it. If you're interested in SEO, you need to do this.